Welcome back. We've got joining us um, Claire and Stephen. Uh, Lineker now, of course, yep. changed name from Sheldon. But Claire, you, when you came to the church, you just, uh, I think you'd just about done your GCSEs, hadn't you? I had done my GCSEs the year before, and I was um, just finishing the GMVQ that my mum was talking about. Mm -hmm. And it was coming to an end, or I think mm -hmm. I had actually finished it, and it was that summer that um, I was starting to come to the church more, and we mm. had the infamous barbecue day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but you, I had... You mentioned the D's and the... <laughs> Yes. Um, it was D's the lowest. D yes. was the lowest. Two yes. C's and D's. But yeah. there were a lot of D's as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. But I was coming to the end of the GMVQ and... But they'd misled you into thinking they were all right, really. Oh, yeah. Acceptable. The state mm. school says they're acceptable. Well, they, mm. to them it was a pass. I mean, a mm. fail was a, an F and that was it. Mm. Mm. Everything else was fine. Mm -hmm. um, and I think for us, we thought that was fine. Yeah. That says I had done so well. It mm. was a shock when I said they're failures. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a big shock. It re did reduce me to tears. I remember. <laughs> because no one had said that to me before. Yeah. Well, we were yeah. trying to be kind. I know. But A, B's, and C's are. Uh, 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 but I wanted mm. A's, B's, yeah. and C's. Yeah. I just couldn't quite get there. No. And so that was basically the bad teaching. Yeah. I think, mm -hmm. don't you? Well, I think. Bad teaching, and because I wasn't the brightest spark in the class, mm -hmm. just totally overlooked. I mean, I'm not trying to blame it all on the school. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. there was a real problem I had with drive and wanting to, you know, and have the ability to get those A's and B's. But, yeah, like you say, I wasn't really a fair chance. But then, when you came to um, Penal, things changed. You yeah. worked. Things did change because I was in a class of, probably in, in smaller classes of like mm. five or I think six was the largest class mm. I was in. Mm -hmm. And the teachers who were teaching you loved teaching you and mm. that makes a big difference anyway. Mm -hmm. And the people I was working with, my peers, wanted to work. It mm. just wasn't, you know, you didn't try and skive off and do as little as you can. It was always let's do as much as we can to get the best results and really uh, yeah there was an element of you wanted to impress the teachers you wanted to show them that okay you've put this in and we've put this back in as well mm. that was lovely. as a real mm. result and so what did you end up with um how many gcse's well you know? when i first came to the school it was just for the two years to do yeah. um the sixth form mm -hmm. oh, okay. and i started doing two a levels mm -hmm. business studies and english literature um, and that gave me time to resit to more of my GCSEs. Mm -hmm. I resat geography and maths. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end of the first year, I managed to get my C in maths GCSE and also get a B in geography, and that's GCSE level. And it was at that point, at the end of the first year, that the headmistress had said to me, you know, Claire, if you want to go to university, if you, you know, if you see that in your future, you really need to be thinking about doing a third a level otherwise you just won't have the points to mm -hmm. get that far and it wasn't really a hard decision all the rest of my classmates were planning what university they were going to so it was natural for me to take that challenge and pick up a third A level mm -hmm. um, just for the final year uh, and try and get into university and at the end of the sixth form I got um, a B for my business studies mm -hmm. C for my English and in geography that I did in one year, I got a grade B. Oh, and well, that was a miracle. Yeah. It really was. <laughs> <laughs> Two Bs and a C. And so then which <laughs> university did you go to? Um, well, it was a kind of a last minute thing. I ended up going to City University in mm -hmm. London mm -hmm. to study computing. Mm -hmm. And I think that was a, a real miracle in itself as well because the course was full mm -hmm. and I had to go up for an interview, although the course was full. And the day before my interview, um, one of the girls that was on the course had phoned in to say she'd accidentally fallen pregnant and she couldn't go to university, so it made a space for me. Ah, oh, I was well, on the there course. We are. And then you got a 2 1, didn't you? Yeah. Oh. At the end of the third year, I got a 2 1. I Fantastic. mean, I found university was quite hard for me. I was studying a subject that I didn't really know, but at the end of it, I came out with a 2 1, and that and was. Got amazing. a good job and a good career. 
yeah. I've been at work now for two years and it's mm. going really, really well. Mm. Yeah, and it was all from failure, really. A uh, real turnaround. Everything around. changed round for mm. you. Mm. I have to say, at the end of my GMVQ, my life was going nowhere. Mm. I couldn't see what the next step was. No. I mean, mm. I didn't know what I was going to do at all. Mm. So, and when you stepped in at that summer, it just, it just turned everything around. Yeah. I thank you. I remember Claire had a week to decide <clears throat> and we didn't put any pressure on her. We just said, this is your decision because you know you've got to change and work. And she said, she thought about it. At the end of it, she said, I think God's given me a second chance. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to do it. Mm. And uh, it's worked out brilliantly. Wonderful. Mm. And then Stephen, you were... Um, on the, on the scene. You were on the scene. <laughs> Just yeah. when it couldn't uh, get any better. Uh, uh, at at which on. point were you on the scene? Well, you were at university, weren't you? I was, yeah. And yeah. You, you went to where? Um, I went to King's College. Uh -huh. uh, doing what? I study business management. OK, and you came out with what? A 2-1. A 2-1. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. And then you saw Claire across a crowded room or something. <laughs> something like that, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. actually quite similar to that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And the, um, you did the Iron Man or something like that, didn't you? Yeah, something crazy like that, yes. That was while you were at King's. It you, was, during my, during my first year. <laughs> you took on this Iron Man... Challenge. Challenge. And what did you actually do? <laughs> um, it's, it's basically a, a similar format to a triathlon. So you've got your, your swimming, um, cycling and your running. But it's just a, a much longer event. So you, you start off with your swim, which is... 2.4 miles. Yeah. You then got the cycle, which is 112, and then you finish with your <laughs> marathon. Which is how many? 26 miles. Well, yeah, it? just over 26. <gasps> wow. And you did it all in one day. Yeah, they, they actually called it the longest day. Yes. So, <laughs> I can imagine. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an early start, actually. You start about 6 in the morning. And you so. made it. Yeah, just about. I, c yeah. I c seem to remember you just about started going out together, had you then? Yeah, yeah. just a couple right. of months beforehand. Yeah. And you wondered yeah. if you'd come back, did you? <laughs> I was very, very proud. <laughs> was excellent to see. Yeah. 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 And so you finished, what time did you finish in? Oh. It was it's about 14 and a half hours or so. 14 and a half yeah. hours. Yeah. It, it was a long day. But Goodness. it took determination to do it. Yeah, yeah. tremendous determination. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Either it was that a good challenge. Or stupidity. Then you got married how long later? A couple of years after the Ironman, but it was the year that we both graduated mm -hmm. yeah. that summer. Mm. And um, he decided to get married. Yeah. That was a good so, time. really, uh, you know, just a visit to the osteopath with a bad back, mm -hmm. which God healed.